Let's uh, rattle through some of the uh, other forwards just before we go. The first guy you signed was Martin Lattel, and sometimes when I'm planning rosters in my, ghost rosters in my head, I kind of forget him because he was signed so early. But but coming to the UK for the first time and another guy who skates well, that seems to be a trait of this team. It's going to skate well. Yeah, I mean his his skating is. I mean I don't. He might be our fastest player, and we got we have some speed up and down our wings like. If you watch his tape, he's a he's explosive, like crazy, crazy straight line speed, um, and you know he's never ran huge numbers in the Czech Extra League, but that league is a premium league, and I feel like he's going to come in and cause some real havoc with that speed. Um, I feel like he'll chip in offensively, and, and like I, I haven't, I've done about 25 ghost rosters here, and. You know, some of them I'm trying to make three lines that are all the same. Some of them I'm trying to load up. So it's, it, and, and for me, it's like when I load up, that, that leaves me with some pretty good players on my, yeah. in my bottom six. Um, so I, 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 like I said, that versatility, I think is going to be huge for us. And I'm really, really excited for, for Martin to come in, speaks English really, really well. And uh, I mean, I don't think we've, we've went wrong with the Czech situation so far no no not at all just the just the other two um we've just got just under 10 minutes left there um Alexuk and Hodgman Hodgman reminded me of a bit of a throwback when I spoke to him and you gave me his number seeing, seeing the character who uh, enjoyed life shall we say yeah um I Haji's gonna be a good player for us six six three skates well for his size great face-off guy played in all the top leagues um, you know, again, I think he's going to be a, a, a really, really, really high-end guy in this league for us. And same as same as you, and I've had conversations with him. I've I've enjoyed them. I think he's uh, he he should be a, a good character to have around our group. Yeah, and Alexa. Yeah, Travis is a winner. Um, you know, I think that's the reality of of Travis. When I watched his game, he's just one of those guys who does absolutely everything right. Um, not a cheater plays a defensive first game but then also when he's in the ozone he'll make plays great in small areas can be a net front or a um, goal line pp guy you know good on again good on faceoffs can play both both forward positions center or wing so some great versatility there and and just he's just one of those glue guys that you know teams that win need on the two-way guys i think uh, i think Right from Kurt, Kurt, the back now we've now got Coach Hudrin. We sort of seem to come out of the blue. Your thought process were on Brandon and what you expect from him when he's available, really. Yeah, I mean, I think Brandon's a guy who has put the work in and is looking forward to a, a second chance, and I, I, I think that's great. Um, you know, he's he's motivated to help us if possible when he's available to um and you know cole's been on the ice the last four days with us and it looks like he's in great shape has looked really really good um so again when you, when you have a roster size of 19 that the, you're gonna need some flexibility there and with those two guys i think it's uh it's great for us to have you know um cole i think predominantly would prefer to be a forward moving forward here this year and you know, with Mosey, if we lose a D, I can move Mosey back and then have one of Cole or Brandon with us, whoever's looked good, played well, and, you know, I'm sure they're both going to get games, plenty of them.